Hey houseplant friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel cleansed. It has been seven hours since I posted yesterday's video and I have gotten over I think 170 comments on the YouTube video. Like pretty much of you guys just gassing me up and telling me yeah wear what you want, yeah do what you want, yeah girl be yourself. Today we have a fun video. I'm going to rid my plants of mealybugs. Amazing right? They've been quarantined, they've been doing their own thing over there, I've been monitoring them. I did remove a significant amount because like you can't just let bugs be in your house, right? I did that a couple days ago, but they're over there and I've been also very closely monitoring all of my other plants to make sure that there's no bugs anywhere and there isn't, which is amazing, so. But before we get into that, skip two minutes ahead if you don't care about this, I'm going to give you my cold damage update on my plants that I imported. I have good news and bad news, but good news. So, the Verochrysum is plumping up. I'm very excited. So we had these roots right here. These roots literally just kind of like shriveled up and died a day ago, but now they're feeling okay. The leaves still feel very thin and I still think that these two leaves won't make it. My Squamiferum is stable. We are for sure going to lose this leaf. You can actually see how much worse it's doing today. Um, you can see all the cold damage uh, that has created now bacteria on this plant that is what bacteria looks like on your plant and normally you shouldn't touch it but i'm going to remove this leaf so it's for science okay so you see these all these spots those are big no-nos and if they're that small you should usually just remove the whole leaf because you cannot treat that and it will spread to your other plants and kill your other plants this leaf is doing great i won't touch it because it did just handle bacteria we do have some small areas of bacteria which is to be expected it does look like our roots are doing okay we did lose almost all of the roots so these roots that have this white on them are the only roots that are still alive all of the rest of these roots down here are all dead our plowmania and our syngonium are struggling the syngonium is kind of plumping up a little bit and the roots look okay still the plowmania looks worse than yesterday um and the chamberlainia is i'm not sure yet i think we need more time but Okay, I'm gonna set up for removing the mealybugs and then we will get to work on that and I'll show you exactly how I would do it. We're gonna be removing it from cacti and also plants. So you'll get to you'll get to see how to do both. It's going to be very hard for you guys to see where the pests are. I'm going to zoom out and show you my tools I'm going to use. These sticks. These are very sharp uh, sticks right here and they're gonna be used to get into the crevices. I'm also going to be using isopropyl alcohol and these Q-tips. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna be using. You can use gloves if you want to, but you do not have to if you're not scared of bugs. I'm gonna show you where they are. I need a monitor, dude. So right here, you got a bunch of these little teeny tiny white spots. These ones are not mealybugs, okay? This is a cactus that does have fuzz on it. Um, here's a really good example. This is a mealybug, and the rest of these things around it are not, okay? Right here. So, yeah, and then a bunch of them right here. These, and then there's a ton in here, kind of like sticking to the can't this there's a thing right here this is a mealy we're gonna take one of these paper towels and what I do is I set this I set this up and I wipe the mealies on the paper towel because once you get the mealies wet with isopropyl they kind of turn pink or brown or black they won't be white anymore so I'm going to put it on my q-tip Hopefully you can see that. Dab this onto the mealy bugs. We are going to probably remove um, some of the cactus's detail, which is really unfortunate, but um, our plant overall is more important than we have mealies on there, right here. I'm gonna leave it there.
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this, this stick, and I'm going to scratch it up in between. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning around the different tufts to make sure that I didn't forget anything. But they seem to like to hide in these tufts, especially from what I've seen of other uh, houseplant people talking about mealies. So um, yeah, I'm just making sure that there's nothing left. Okay, so at this point, I'm very certain that there are no more mealybugs left on this plant. I haven't bought any plants that have mealybugs, which means that they came from somewhere already in my house, probably eggs on the roots of some plant. So the plant that did have the most, I did throw away because it was a very spiky cactus all around and there would have been, it would have been impossible. It was literally infested with mealies. Like it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. So yeah, this had the second most which is why we did it first. Now I'm going to show you another cactus example and then I'm gonna show you one plant example. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this guy is good. Here's the amount of Q-tips I used and then some of the fuzz I pulled off. I did end up dumping my alcohol into a dish just to make it easier, so. Well, the two plants I had over there that I thought had mealies actually don't. So I don't have any house plants with mealies, which is amazing. So instead, I'm just gonna show you how to remove them from a bunch of cactus. Yeah, well that makes me happy because it would have been cool to be like, here's how to remove them from houseplants, but it's honestly the same thing. So there's really not any nuance to uh, removing it from a plant versus a cactus. Okay, so this one only has a couple. It wasn't that affected. We have one right here. And this one I'm going to have to use, um, ooh, this needs to be watered. This one I'm going to have to use the stick to get them out. Okay, that was easy enough. And I'm just gonna wet all these, these uh, cottony spots to make sure that there's nothing hiding. Okay, these next ones are not going to be so easy. This is a beautiful cactus that uh, Becca from Becca de la Plant sent me a while ago. I mean, clearly you can't get anything like this around where I live. This is from Arizona. This is a nest right here. Just gonna get rid of that. The biggest, this is gonna suck because this is gonna remove all the blue from the cactus, which is like the worst thing ever, especially for uh, blue cactus lovers like me. Thankfully, there's not that much on this cactus. On the very top, there's a couple. These little white specks, those little white specks that you're seeing are all...
thought that like cacti could get mealies, right? So let's see if you can see them. Here's an obvious one um, down here. That guy right there. That's what bothers me the most is I have no idea. This is what they look like when you get them with isopropyl. They won't be white anymore. So the primary spot of conflict on my biggest cacti is the very, very top. And I don't think that there's any on the rest of the cactus, but you should be able to see all of those itty bitty, teeny tiny little white spots are all mealies. Hey friends, so there's a couple things I forgot to say. If you want to do this for houseplants instead of cactus, just make sure that you're a lot more careful. Also, mealybugs, and this is this is a struggling uh, Calathea beauty star someone sent me. Let's say that you might have mealybugs on this plant. Most of them are going to hide in this area where you wouldn't normally look to find them. So really check sheaths, like philodendron sheaths where the new leaves might come out. Check under the leaves. Make sure you check right here in the sinus where uh, they really like to hide right here. Use a little bit less, I would probably dilute the alcohol if you're going to use it on a plant because obviously plants are not as strong as cacti. I'm trying to think, mealybugs are interesting little creatures that really like to hide. So even if you don't think that there would be any in your soil, make sure you repot your cactus anyways. Also, depending on the different plant that you have, you're gonna wanna dilute it a little less. Usually my rule of thumb for how you're gonna dilute isopropyl alcohol is the thicker the leaf, the less you need to dilute it. So something really strong like a Hoya leaf won't probably need to be diluted, but something really thin like a Pothos or like a, like a Cebu Blue or um, maybe a, a Philodendron Campos Portoanum leaf, Things like that, you should definitely dilute your uh, your mixture. If you don't want to use isopropyl alcohol, you can use a uh, pest a pesticide. I definitely 
prefer if you're going to use pesticide use a bonide mix they there is a bonide safe for the indoors house plant pesticide and those are really great you can also use neem oil but the biggest thing with neem oil is don't use it full concentrated you need to dilute it depending on the type of neem oil you buy it has instructions on the back of the bottle for how to dilute it and do not get pesticide or neem oil on your skin because it's a skin irritant my skin it already gets irritated enough so I prefer to use isopropyl alcohol because that doesn't bother my skin as much as some of the other substances it's really really cut and dry just make sure you use q-tips probably avoid using little sharp objects for regular house plants because you don't want to poke a hole through your leaf good luck removing mealybugs from your house plants and your cactus. You can do it, I believe in you. I feel really good about the job that I did. I don't see any spots where it even looks like anything could hide. Definitely the hardest one to do was this one, just because it just, they blend in so incredibly well. They were hiding in and around the puffs and they were disguising themselves in with the design on the cactus. So I genuinely can't see anything else. So I, I will keep my eye on these cactus for the next few days, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. Oh, I forgot to turn off my light. Probably had some weird glasses glare. Thank you so much for watching my how to remove mealybug from cacti video. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at plantmeashley. Thank you so much to my patrons who keep me going. I have 35 amazing, beautiful, wonderful patrons who make up a beautiful Discord community. So if you're interested in joining that private Discord where I am available to chat all day, we're actually going to do a Netflix watch party here pretty soon. If that sounds fun, the link to become a patron is the first link in my description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I Let me know if you want other pest videos. I hope that I won't have to make any just because I don't want to make one unless obviously there's pests in my house I need to get rid of. So yeah, let me know if you have any more questions in the, in the description. I'm going to repot these babies soon and so I will film that and do a repot with me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next houseplant video. Bye.